Welcome everybody to Money in the Bank Part 4 <laughs> Still to come is the Intercontinental title match Bobby Lashley versus Sheamus We have the women's Money in the Bank 6 woman ladder match <laughs> We also have the main event Teddy Bussey Jr versus Cody Rhodes Special guest referee Randy Orton for the World Heavyweight title And of course up next the Smackdown tag team title match Pretty Deadly versus Indusher Ooh. I believe if I'm not mistaken, this is the match. This is the final match that has actual English people in it. <laughs> so can they be successful? We've only seen one Englishman uh, successful tonight, and that was Tyler Bate against Nakamura, if my maths is correct. <laughs> Though obviously there's still Sheamus later on tonight, uh, Irish native, and same with Becky Lynch is also later tonight in the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match, which yet again also Irish native. Yeah, so there's still some UK people to go, but this is the match, the final English person, like, people set tonight. And obviously, <laughs> these are not the English people. These are Hindershire, the challengers. Walking down to the ring with a presence. It's, it's a worrying thing. Seeing these two walk down to the ring, they absolutely destroyed... Chase University to get into this match. And I think pretty freaking deadly were very pretty lucky. I should say pretty lucky. Pretty freaking lucky. <laughs> Maybe even <laughs> that they were able to beat in this year. So well is that luck run out or can they get a win? Yes again. Let's find out, shall we? And of course, they were the challengers. So out come the champions. Oh, yes, boy. <laughs> At least Seth Rollins was uh, successful against Shinder Mahal tonight, so maybe that can give some momentum to the tag champs. They are obviously, of course, Elton Prince on the right, Kit Wilson on the left. Pretty deadly. <laughs> it's going to be a tough one for these two tonight. These two have held the SmackDown tag titles since Backlash, but obviously were originally at one point the undisputed tag team champions, uh, but lost the Raw tag titles to the Brawling Brutes, who have now lost it to the Profits. But that was a night of champions when they lost it to the Brutes. And they had the rematch for their titles the next night on Raw. Unsuccessful, but maybe it was a bad idea from Pretty Deadly. They were desperate to get back that Raw tag team title, and understandably so, but... The fact that they went through two matches at night of champions and then the next night were challenging the Brutes again wasn't exactly a smart idea. When well, the Brutes had a rest in between those two matches, or at least longer, <laughs> where Pretty Deadly had to get through a TLC match, which they won, and why they are still SmackDown Tag Team Champions at least, which is the tag, uh, their brand's uh, show, title, tag title, sorry. So uh, I guess at least they kept those. <laughs> That's better than a... Uh, uh, zero for two <laughs> and nine champions they got a one for one uh, and they're looking that they've only got one match tonight so that should give them a bit more of a easier night but they are going against in this year so it's not too easy anyways like I said the two British boys the final two Englishmen of the night can they get a win like Tyler Bates let's find out shall we I said obviously there was somewhat of a curse, maybe, you could say, for that Raw Tag Team titles, but the SmackDown Tag Team titles have only been held by one people so far. So, well, one team, sorry. So, no such curse on this. So, we'll pretty deadly keep that title reign going and hope maybe bring it to SummerSlam. Hopefully they will for them. <laughs> but in this year, hopefully for them they win, you know. <laughs> but I have, a, I have an idea who the crowd are we going to be cheering for tonight. That are pretty deadly. But challengers care little for the fans' opinion. Ooh. It's going to be a tough one. Uh, they, they are the champions. Decked out in pink. Oh, yes, boy. Ooh. 
I think this is going to be the first time that the SmackDown tag titles are defended uh, separately in a regular two-on-two -two match because, like I said, the only time they've been defended in uh, an undisputed tag title match and the only other time they've been defended separately was a TLC match. So this is the first time they've been defended separately in a regular two-on-two -two capacity. So there's that too. Anyways, as a Prince and Sango starting out for their teams. And that was a Prince already getting a bit of an advantage going on. Sango, oh no. Leg drop now. Coward. Or Elton gets a quick fist. I think that's definitely something that Elton and Kit will have over in the sheer. They definitely won't have the strength. But I feel like they might have the technique and the speed. And maybe even a bit of like the, the, the mind games in a way. Like just winding up in this year. By being just by being themselves, if you know what I mean, and that might play into their advantage a bit, might lead in this year into making a mistake. Oh, and a leg drop now, successful now by Elton Prince. Oh, gets the uppercut. Sanga says, Stand him, chucks him into the corner now. Oh, push the head. Oh, roll up now by Elton Prince. Look for oh, kick out. Oh, Sanga. Look, it's capitalized. One. No, not even a one. Elton Prince now. Look, it's a roll back for a backslide. One. It's all right. I was giving the pretty deadly credit for technique, but Songa showing out here. Don't know, Kit trying to block everything he can. Oh, successful now. Back break. Oh, no. Oh, Songa being, having an issue with being in the pretty deadly's corner. That is not what he wants. Oh, because Sanga stays standing. Still stays standing. Still now. Oh, now blocked. And Sanga now sending Kit to the ropes. Oh, drops down. Don't know Kit. Buying. Oh, way. Oh, Sanga, yeah, again. Sanga now. Drops him on the ropes. I think I tried to save him, but unsuccessful there. Oh, neck breaker. Elton, not the legal man. He's giving Kit Wilson a bit of a chance. Jeez, what a knee drop. Elton, oh no. Oh, but Kit taking advantage of Sanga's distraction. Or Sanga being distracted, sorry. And I'll just Kit wailing on that cut of Sanga. I'm going to say, you've got to give it to Pretty Deadly here. They're, they're putting up more of a fight than I expected. I said it's to be domination by Sanga and Veer. Oh, Sunga's getting mad now. Oh! Kit's lucky there, he, might, he, he countered that. But maybe Pretty Deadly are just putting off, like prolonging the inevitable, prolonging the domination of Indusheer. But I suppose prolonging it, it's not such a bad idea. Get some damage off them, maybe we might have to slow them down a bit. <laughs> maybe make them feel a little weaker, I don't know, but you just don't want to get them too frustrated. Like I said, you want to... Oh, you want... There's a... There's a Area of getting somebody frustrated that it just makes it worse for you before getting it over past the certain line that it makes it worse for them And they've got to do their best to not leave it in that line Where it's worse for for pretty deadly making in the shit. I've kind of gone around in circles there, but you get what I mean Oh well some prince stopping Sanga Done a boot now by Elton Prince but he's still not keeping him down. Oh, now looking for an elbow drop. Oh, no, Sanga gets out of the way. Elton. DDT now. Picking up Sanga now. Fear yet to be tagged into this match. Again, pretty deadly blown a bit of a clinic like the Prophets were doing. They kept Ridge in the entire match. Ridge was never tagged in. Oh, no, Sanga. Oh no, Elton fighting back. A drop kick now. Elton Prince. Getting all fired up now, tagging in Kit Wilson. What's Kit looking to do here? Oh. Oh. Don't know what Kit just tried there. So he just tried to shoulder block the Sanga. Oh no. Kit yet again still escaping. Oh, the hot dogs stopped there, but geez, what a stomp to the knee. 
Songa's going to be feeling that in the morning, that's for sure. Yeah, he's clenching it right there. Jeez. What a stomp to the knee. Oh, Elton now. Just winding up Veer. Veer's not happy. You can see him shaking his head. Oh, no. Looking for the roll-up again on Songa. One. Two. Oh. Oh, Songa. Yes, again. Gets it out of pin. That's a loss of weight. Oh, no. To bridge his shoulders right there. Goal close on. Oh, drop kick now. Oh, that stunned him. Ben Groggy enough. Oh, I'll drop some now. Looking for a pin. One. Oh, not even a two count. Jeez. Okay. Oh, Veer's tagged in now. Elton. Didn't know. Oh, now it's Veer. Gets Elton on his shoulder. Oh, and a snake eyes in the corner. This not looking good for Elton Prince now. As now the fresh Veer Mahan is in the ring. As Veer drops him on his face. Oh, Elton. No. Bounce off the ropes. I think he's just trying to escape Veer. But Veer is coming. And he's coming to bring the pain. Oh, now says Elton. Oh, shoulder barge. <laughs> and Veer. Coming to get this match back into Indusheer's hands or to start in Indusheer's hands because they haven't really had it much in their hands Dole Kit oh he's going to pay for that as Veer now sends him into the ring jeez Veer looking oh Kit still groggy Dole into the corner now tags and Sanga Oh, look, Veer's coming now for Kit Wilson. Sends him out. Oh, and I punched out. Oh, Songa now wrenching Elton over that top rope. Now Songa, he's still got the blood on his face. But Elton's now been weakened down from Kit. I mean, sorry, from uh, Veer. But Elton, yeah, again, like a front of a roll up. One, two. Whoa, kick out. Oh, Songa. Yeah, again, going for that press on Elton. Two. Oh, just barely. Because it's Songa, not a light man. That's a lot of weight on Elton's shoulders as he's just been closed like down. And now Songa just stomping away on Elton's chest now. Indische kind of doing what Pretty Deadly were doing earlier. Now they've been keeping it on Elton Prince. It's just not what Pretty Deadly want. Elton feeling the effects now. It's been laid out with that sidewalk slam. Beer now sends Elton into the corner. Tags in Veer. Oh, they're looking to finish it. Oh, what a move. Songa trying to stop Kit. No, Kit dodged. Oh, breaks it up. Oh, but Kit now taking a double axe handle. Wasn't, it wasn't successful enough, but now Veer. Veer is back in the ring. Oh, went up. Oh, to the back now. Kit's back to his feet, though. Back on the apron. Then Elton, oh, double axe handle, God delivered to him. Oh, Elton raking the back of Songa. Can he neutralise Songa momentarily? Oh, Songa's gone and right into the barricade. I think he tripped over the stairs there. Oh, he tried to close that beer, but Beer's staying standing. Beer now just shoving it back into the barricade now. And Beer now looking for a power slam. Elton's there caught on the barricade there. Did I say apron? I might have. I don't know. I know I said barricade just then, but I might have said it just before when Sanga got sent into it. But either way, the kit just takes down Sanga, but now running away. Fair play. It's done them at least. Beer now comes charging at Kit Wilson. Donald Kit fires the forearm back. Count of nine for Elton. He gets back in. And now Kit Wilson. Oh, look at the strength and Elton's pointing at it. What a suplex to the outside. Can this be the moment that pretty deadly need? Elton now trying to deal with Songa. Oh, and a DDT on the outside. Pretty deadly standing tall. Oh, clothesline now takes down uh, the, uh, the Songa getting back to his feet, getting back to the apron. Bear hug spine buster by Kit Wilson. Hot shot stunner by Elton Prince. 
Kid now. Bounces Veer off the, the announced table ledge. And now Kit sends Veer back into the ring. Elton's back into the ring too. Elton going to the top rope. Veer in the center of the ring. Looking for that elbow drop to the back of Veer Mahan. And now Elton picking up Veer, but Song goes back to his feet too. Oh no, Veer, get out of the way. Veer, I know. Elton fighting back. Oh, strike now. Oh, and again. Oh no, now Veer. Veer is now in control. Elton just needs a tag at this point. He's been taking offense for so long. Oh, geez. Oh, the ribs. Oh, Elton Prince feeling the effects there. Oh, just having to collapse into the corner now. Veer just choking him out in there. Oh, Elton falls around his face. I don't blame him. Is Veer. Now dragging Elton. Elton struggling to move now. Oh, what a hip drop now. And Veer. Now just trying to tap out Elton Prince. Elton's holding on. Is Elton going to tap? Let's lock it in this painful submission. This out to get a tap. Oh, this Veer got this in too tight. Don't fit Elton hanging on. Veer though. No, Elton slips down under. Gets that cheeky little strike to Veer Mahan. He sends him into the ropes. Oh, boots him, but Veer's gone to the outside. But what a hell of a boot. Oh, Elton. Kids asking for a tag. Elton's giving it to him. Finally, Kit's been in. Kit's got in. Elton, very worn down. Kit takes deal, being with Songa. And Veer, standing on his own. Waltz is back into the ring. Kit, no, Veer. Oh, what a kitchen sink now. Oh, looking for a Larry. No, Kit ducked the clothesline. German suplex now. Veer, Veer in the effects. Gets into the corner. Kit Wells in the knee strike. Kit, oh, bounce off the ropes. Fake out. Hot shot stunner. Veer was trying to make a crawl to Sanga, I think. Looking for a hot tag, but unsuccessful. Oh, what a strike by Kit now. He wants to tag in Elton. But Veer, looking a little groggy. Oh, we're <laughs> having that moment. Elton. Oh! He went to go deal with Songa, I think, but Veer woke up and now the Fez press is striking away. So many strikes. One, two. Oh, Elton fires out. But I think there's some blood coming from his skull there. There was some heavy, heavy strikes by Veer there. To the score, and just so many. Oh, and an uppercut. Finally, the uppercut started taking down into sheer. Oh, I think Elton's going to run into a knee there. But he stopped the, the hot tag for the momentary. Now just striking away on Veer. Oh, with Veer, the shoulder block down. Oh, Elton, the roll-up. Looking for a one. A two. A three. Pretty deadly. With the win, and Elton collapses. Jeez. Veer just in disbelief after that. Oh, what a fight. But that's the only point that they could do at that point, which is the roll-up there for the victory. Oh, jeez. Got to give it to both teams. They put it all in. It was a bit more, instead of it being back and forth, it was more, a lot of pretty deadly and a lot of in this year, but that kind of pattern. But still, your SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Elton Prince, Kit Wilson, doing it in England. All much bigger for them. Oof. Anyways, next match. It is Bobby Lashley versus Sheamus for the Intercontinental Championship. This is the last uh, title for... No, actually, no. We've had both of Raw's men's singles titles, if I'm not mistaken, and Ilya Dragunov and Seth Rollins. So, no, SmackDown, this is Raw's. Got it wrong way around from there, then. Uh, but this is, this is the last 
uh, men's match that has a UK uh, born superstar in that's for sure but out comes first the almighty Bobby Lashley uh, the, street, the Street Profits did get that win over Brawl and Brutes earlier tonight in that Raw tag team title match so can that give Bobby Lashley that push that momentum into this match but do not forget that Braun and Brutes got that six man tag victory over the Hurt Business last Raw so does that kind of cancel out the momentum that Sheamus was going to have walking into us so is this now going to be even Stevens and even playing field you know whatever you want to call it but we're talking about the Bobby Lashley here very rarely is anybody on an even playing field or higher than Bobby Lashley but I think his opponent here tonight Maybe somebody that can make that claim to fame that he is on the same level as Bobby Lashley. It's at least in that kind of like toughness and strength. Maybe I'd put a little bit lower, but loving to fight and loving the fight in general, I would put over Bobby Lashley. So maybe it cancels each other out a little bit. And I'd say maybe he even is slightly tougher than Bobby Lashley. And there's a reason why he's called the Celtic Warrior. And there's a reason why he's our intercontinental champion. He is Sheamus. There's a leader, the reason why he's called the leader of the, the Brawling Brutes too. Is that. <laughs> but Sheamus walks him down to the ring. <laughs> in the money in the bank colours in that green and yellow. <laughs> See that, that title looks good around his waist there. Sheamus getting a hell of a roar from the crowd as he's ready for this fight. And I've been anticipating this one ever since Bobby Lashley won his number one contenders match against Cedric Alexander. Because I knew that this fight was going to be good. And it was going to be that. It was going to be a fight. Because like I said, ladies and gentlemen, it is a pay-per-view. We are in the UK. It is. Like we have a brawling brew member. It is. By night, and this is going to be anything but. It's going to be brutal, that's for sure. It's going to be heavy hitting. Anyways, the challenger. What can you? What can be said about this man that hasn't already been said, other than just calling him the Almighty One? That right, that does him justice. It's Bobby Lashley. And like I said, the Intercontinental Champion. Good old Shamo, the Celtic Warrior. Holding that title high. Sheamus, obviously the only Intercontinental title we, holder we've had so far in Universe Mode. He took on Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar last pay-per-view in a triple threat match. After that, their number one contender match ended in a draw. And then Sheamus took on main event Jey Uso at Backlash in a hell of a fight too and Jey Uso's attempt to get into singles title and prove that he is worthy of the, being in this on his own and not being with his brother where Sheamus was also looking to be a Grand Slam champion and he has become one and now he's on a reign with that Intercontinental Championship and Sheamus starts out with that clothesline Dole Lashley fires back the shoulder block Dole and Lashley now Showing off that extra strength and fat energy he has on Sheamus. And chuck Sheamus again. Jeez. Sheamus feeling the effects, but he's back to his feet. Sheamus rolls away. Dull oh, clothesline. Bobby Lashley getting back to his feet, though. Jeez, this match started off great. Sheamus, oh, the strikes now. Dull oh, the knee right to Bobby Lashley. Picking him back up before Bobby Lashley can do anything about it. Another strike. Oh, Lashley coward. No, Lashley. No. Sheamus, oh, clothesline now. Takes him down. Dole Sheamus now. Looking for a power slam to Bobby Lashley. Sheamus now, oh, yet again, more strikes to Bobby Lashley. Oh, Lashley has had enough of that. Oh, what a big boot down. Done him in one. And Lashley now picking up Sheamus. Deadlift to just chuck him across the ring. Jeez, manhandling Sheamus. Very rare we see that. 
Sheamus kicks him back down. Oh no. And now going for the ground pound. Oh no, Lashley cows it. Now the forearms. I think those are the forearms at least anyways. Lashley now no stop to the ankle. Sheamus dodged the kick to the leg. Takes down Lashley to one knee pro momentarily. Oh no, Sheamus looking to choke. Lashley across the ring with a fall away slam. I very much am Sheamus, but you better watch out for your opponent. You shouldn't be getting distracted like that too easily against Bobby Lashley. And now Lashley having a taunt of his own. Flexing his muscles. And Sheamus now in the neck breaker. Again, just teaching the lesson that Bobby Lashley just taught him. Oh, Lashley now the forearm. Staggers Sheamus. Oh, look at the strength. The military press. Power slam. Jeez, and now Lashley. Oh, what a strike. But Sheamus. Oh, strike back. Oh, chop now. Oh, no. Lashley catches. Chop. Chop. Oh, these lads just swinging for each other. Oh, and again. Oh, these open bump strikes. Just trying to light each other's chests up. Jeez. Do. Oh, no. Sheamus. Oh, chop. Oh, what a knee strike to Bobby Lashley now. Looking for a cover. Sheamus says no. <laughs> this ain't over yet. Sheamus wants more of a fight. Though I wouldn't have expected Lashley to have lost at that point. But what a heavy hitting match it started off to be. I told you it would be. And it's done nothing but. Oh, and Sheamus now rams Bobby Lashley into the barricade. Not to be confused with the apron. And Lashley now being picked up onto Sheamus' shoulder, but drops down. No Sheamus catches the leg. Lashley now, no Sheamus now. Uppercut now takes down Bobby Lashley. The huge back and forth in this match. This might be the greatest Intercontinental title match we've had yet. Oh yeah, again Sheamus hoisting him up to the shoulders, but unsuccessful. Bobby Lashley, no Sheamus, kicks the gut. Oh no, Lashley. Refuses the Alabama Slammer and now looking for the power bomb to Sheamus on the outside now. Lashley now sending Sheamus into the ring. You know, I say about G's counter last video, but about a now counter because I say that quite a lot too. It's, oh, Sheamus buying back. It's trying now. Lashley, the headbutt. No, Sheamus. How is that? No oh, strikes now. Looking to put Lashley to sleep with some why noise by Sheamus. Going for the cover, center of the ring, pretty much. One, two, kick out by Bobby Lashley. Sheamus now asking Lashley to get to his feet, and Lashley is now stirring. Sheamus, pro kick. To Lashley, center of the ring ish again. One, two, kick out by Lashley. Sheamus attacking Lashley on the head there. And again, deciding to throw some more strikes. Ooh, those were some heavy strikes there. Sheamus, Irish ripping. Lashley, no, Lashley ducked. That was the front of a pro kick, but. Bobby Lashley not getting that clothesline. And a boot, but Sheamus stays standing. Oh, not that one. I think if I can see correctly, I think Bobby Lashley's bleeding a little bit there. I can't 100% tell. My monitor's pretty small. Oh, Sheamus, though. With an STO. Oh, Lashley, yet yeah, again. Counters that. Clothesline takes down the Celtic Warrior. Bobby Lashley now with the forearm. Power slam. Bobby Lashley. Chasing Sheamus now as he's been as he's rolled out the ring. Double Alexander. Well Sheamus stays standing, but he's staggered quite a lot there. Sheamus being dropped now on the barricade. By Bobby Lashley. Lashley sends him back into the ring. Sheamus stirring though. Lashley. Forearm. Oh, Sheamus double axe handle takes down Bobby Lashley. And now ground and pounding Lashley yet again working 
on that cut. Stomp to the gut. Lashley fires back, though. Sheamus rolls back out. Nope, he's going straight in, back in. Clench. Sheamus wins that one. Boots down. Not quite a bro kick, though. Sheamus the elbow. Down again. And looking for a third. Looking for a third. Yeah. Oh, Lashley, no. Close lines. I think they both went for a close line there, but Lashley maybe a little bit quicker that time. I think I probably would get the, the speed to Bobby Lashley in this match. Oh, spear, no. Sheamus counts the spear. Boots down Lashley again. Lashley. Don't pick it up. Oh, there's blood dropping on the mat now. I think that's Lashley's blood for sure. Oh, Lashley, though. Just taking too many boots. Oh, we're now Lashley looking for a dominator to Sheamus. Though he's done anything but dominate this match. If anything, I'd give the slight upper hand to Sheamus. But Lashley's now sizing up Sheamus for the spear to Shamo. One, two, kick out. But just the blood just there, just as Lashley's staying for the pin. Just dropping out everywhere. Sheamus, though, strikes the ribs. Irish rips Lashley. No, Lashley just steps out of the way. Kicks to the face. Stomping away on the legs now. Stomping away. Jeez. To the knees. Literally. Jeez to the knees. <laughs> Doh. And again. Looking for a power slam. Sheamus. Picks up Lashley. Looking for one Irish curse backbreaker. Holds on. And a second. And now, looking for a third to Bobby Lashley. Lashley feeling the effects there. But Sheamus, a little exhausted, you could tell. Sheamus picking up Lashley now. For another high cross. Oh, this first one, sorry. Whoa. Maybe the only one. Sheamus. Hooking the leg. Nearly the other one, too. But it's the his grass. Two. Go. I thought I was about to say three there. Sheamus. Unsuccessful with the for a victory there but now Sheamus yet again looking to put down Bobby Lashley no Lashley says no close line and Lashley now sizing up Sheamus he's climbing back to his feet Lashley locking in the heart lock on Sheamus in the center of the ring nowhere to go for Sheamus Lashley shaking him around for that extra pain but he might be losing his grip there I don't know Sheamus, oh, he's back into a standing position. No more shaking. Can Lashley hold on? Oh, he's shaking him around again. Just trying to dizzy. Sheamus, it's dizzying me a little bit. Will Sheamus tap out? So Rod Sapan keeping an eye on Sheamus' hands as they're getting shaken around a lot. But Bobby Lashley trying every, just holding on. Sheamus, though, fighting like I wouldn't expect anything less from him. And Sheamus, I think, just trying to grab at Bobby Lashley's hands. But he's just in a lot of pain right now. And Lashley just trying to hold on to Sheamus with everything. Again, just wrench as hard as he can. <laughs> Sheamus, will he tap out? This is going on for so long. But will Lashley tap him out? I have no idea. Lashley, holding on. Sheamus, just trying to fight out of it. Every fiber is being, but I think even if Sheamus gets out of it, he's going to be so drained. But probably say the same for Lashley. Oh, Sheamus now. Looking for a break. He's got the hands now. Oh, brings down it, but he's holding Lashley. his back of his head. I'm not surprised. I'm surprised they're getting back into the fight this quickly. I'm surprised the neat both men aren't drained from having that submission go on for so long. Oh, some Irish people in the, in the crowds there. Cheering on Sheamus with their signs. Lashley now. Oh, what a body slam to, to Sheamus. Sheamus is going to be worn out. I think it might be over for Sheamus. Just no sense of the imagination here. Is Sheamus anywhere near 100% now after that hurt block? Oh, we're sending Lashley into the turnbuckle now. Maybe Sheamus just has enough. Lashley now. Grab Sheamus by the head again. And I'll send his head back into the turnbuckle. And bounces off again and again. No. Sheamus, yeah, again, counters and sends Lashley back into the turnbuckle. I think Lashley just trying to give Sheamus a concussion at this point. Oh, no collision there. Oh, I think there's some blood on Bobby Lashley's chest, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe someone has uh, abdomen too. Sheamus, yet yeah, again, holding on for an Irish cars. 
trifecta to Lashley. But Sheamus feeling the effects. Oh, Lashley back to his feet. Clothesline, Sheamus. Jeez, the energy. Lashley. Trying to get the crowd behind him, but that's going to be a difficult one. But no, Sheamus. Lashley took too long there. Sheamus with the high cross. Lashley just kind of going into the turnbuckles a little bit there. One, two, what? A rough landing, not too much for Lashley to kick out there. Sheamus, just in disbelief that Lashley is staying in this. Don't want to stomp to the leg now. Sheamus now looking for a powerbomb. Whew. I know this is going to be a fight, but jeez. Sheamus grabs Lashley by the head and bounces him now. Oh, now he's getting the turnbuckle dream and Lashley just eating turnbuckle for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Maybe even supper too. Oh, Sheamus picking up Lashley. Sends him into the corner. Sheamus. Oh, no, Lashley. The knee strike. Lashley all fired up. No, Sheamus fires out of the corner. Close lines him down. Stomp it away now on Lashley. Oh, Lashley back to his feet. Spear by Bobby Lashley out of nowhere. Going for the cover. One, two. Kick out by Sheamus. Jeez. Both men staying alive. What are these two got to do to put each other away? Lashley keeping it going now on Sheamus. Oh, you still got it. Probably a sign for Lashley there. He's been doing this longer, I think. Oh no, Sheamus now eating the turnbuckle. Two. Jeez, oh no, Sheamus yet again counters. He doesn't like those turnbuckle smashes much to himself. Though I don't blame him in that case. Lashley though fires back. Close line. Lashley. I'm getting out of breath. I don't know how these two aren't. Jeez. Lashley wrenching the head of Sheamus. And again. Just trying to wear down Sheamus at this point. Just trying to take any of that oomph out of Sheamus. Just anything. Oh, I'll stomp to the head now. Don't oh, want to stomp to the back of the head now. Lashley pounding away on Sheamus' face. Jeez. Those are some heavy strikes. Oh, I want to stomp to the face again. And Lashley just rolling around Sheamus around the ring. They're trying to dizzy him, but trying to beat him up at the same time. I don't know, I'm not a professional wrestler. I don't know some tactics fully, but... Uh, I may pick up a thing or two by watching and commentating. Lashley pounding away on Sheamus' skull again. Just dizzying him, wearing him down and just beating him to a pole. Is this going to be it for Sheamus? No, Sheamus cowers Lashley. Sweep of the legs. Sheamus. Now looking for a choke bomb to Lashley. Oh, Sheamus bleeding out the eye there. Those some strikes must have done some damage there, that's for sure. And now up to the top rope. Sheamus has put Lashley. Oh, strikes the face. Oh, Sheamus. Oh, if, if, if nothing's going to get this done. Looking for an avalanche. Why noise to Lashley. Sheamus. For the cover, that's got to be it. One, two, for a what? Lashley kicked out. How? How? Sheamus now just, just striking away now. He doesn't know what else to do. He doesn't know what else he can do. He's put Lashley through the ringer. And Lashley put him through the ringer too. Sheamus now. Close, I know Lashley, what's an elbow? Stun Sheamus, neck breaker. But even that's just worn down Lashley now. Just feeling the effects on the back. But no, Lashley back to his feet now. Just needed a minute. It's just how this match is gone. And now Bobby Lashley, Yokozuna Kutza to Sheamus. Just trying out all the different moves now. Two. Oh, and a kick out by Sheamus again. Wearing down these two movesets. These two people's movesets. Just not successful. Oh, Sheamus. What a kick to the face of Bobby Lashley. It's Sheamus. What? He's just pushed himself off. He's not going to believe it's going to be it. I don't know. He's just asking Lashley to get up again. Look at the pool of blood where Lashley's just been. His cut just opened too much. 
And Sheamus now off the ropes. Close lines, Lashley. Maybe he thought that the run-up wasn't good enough for the bro kick. Lashley just trying his last ditch to try and stay in this match where he's getting up on the wrong side there. Just every fibre of his being on a clothesline now to Lashley. Sheamus just stomping away. Look at the blood all over the mat. I think most of that's Lashley's, but some of it's probably Sheamus's. No one a clothesline. Again. To Lashley. Sheamus. And another clothesline. To Lashley. Sheamus picking him up again. Sheamus now. Another clothesline. To Lashley. Sheamus. Oh. Looking. For another. White noise. To Bobby Lashley. Sheamus. Just standing there, just mustering everything he can now be in the chest, just firing him up. Bro kick to Bobby Lashley. Looking for a one, two, three. Sheamus with the win. What a fight that was between those two men. Whew, that's got to be the best intercontinental title defense we've had yet. Maybe even match the night between these two. What a fight. Oh. These two put each other through the ringer. But only one man could stand tall. And that tonight was the Celtic warrior, Seamus. Still your Intercontinental Champion. Whew. Anyways, thanks for watching part four of Money in the Bank. And hopefully I'll see you for the final part. Peace.